Hi guys, Cliff here. Uh, just had a comment on my Da Vinci biplane construction video from Nick of the Baron Flights. Two suggestions he had, one of which uh, is worth following up and I think I said as much and that is to build a Da Vinci parachute, maybe to drop from a Da Vinci plane. So I've Googled the design. It's basically four sides, triangular shape. Now it can't be too big because uh, it's only a little aeroplane. So let me bend you down a minute, show you what I got. Did have a bit of wood longer, but the cat's eating. <laughs> um, so what have I got? I've got some balsa, four mil, maybe five. Uh, I've cut out a triangular shape, roughly proportions of Da Vinci's design. And I've got cut up an orange plastic bag, which is sort of simulates the orange sort of shape he had. Basically, it's a four sided pyramid shape. Do pyramids have four sides? I think they do. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to cut, I'm going to make a frame up. There's a frame along the bottom, a square frame, uh, which I'll stain and glue on four sides of plastic, very light. Then there's a central string that goes down and some crossways ones which holds the pilot, which I'll cut out of ply or something. Pilot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, will be the pilot if he jumps. Um, anyway, the parachutist. So this is basically it. So I'm just obviously making it up as I go along, as I do. Uh, but first thing to do is to make up a frame for the size of, of um, the bottom of this parachute which is it's doing centimeters as it's there roughly 16 and a half 16 33 66 I hope this is long enough 33 to about there I might as well give it a go that looks okay that looks to be pencil Roughly exactly uh, to there. Okay, that has to be duplicated four times. Now this has to be glued square. CA, I think, for speed. We'll see how it turns out. The Da Vinci plan is getting very close now, guys. The um, drawing is very nearly done. Just waiting to add a couple of last details to it. And then all those that would like a plan, it will be available as a PDF. I'm gonna sort of use the paper as a square. It's quite a big parachute that, I think. I wanna put plenty on here because it's end grain. I may even put a tiny little gusset in the corner just to strengthen the join. Which was a good move. Right, let's cut some gusset, shall we? Put the glue on using a pin so as I can handle it. Like that, that just goes straight in the corner. Just like twisting it. There. Point about there. Okay, so that's my shape. So I've only got to make one join on the inside, which will be pretty cool. Good idea cutting through the template.
Okay. Can only design something but make it out of the mid materials you've got available. Okay, that might do it. Might not. Uh, it's not rocket science. Doesn't have to be perfect. Let's turn it inside out. I think quite meet up there. Look, came away, but I don't think it's worth worrying about. So there is a four-sided parachute. In theory, so that's dry. It's only been a minute. It's a good day for drying. If this works. I can make a bigger one, about 20 foot square. <laughs> no, Cliff, don't do it. You'll kill yourself. It wouldn't be the first parachute jump I've done. If I stick that on there and then sort of wrap it around, stick that on there like that, I think a contact glue would be best. Yeah, not too bad. So I'll repeat that on the four sides and I'll be back to you in a minute. But I've got a square parachute. You'll agree that's a square parachute. So I've got to fix a piece of string up that's going to take the pilot's weight from the centre. Should be sellotaped. And then four pieces of string down to his waist, I think it was. So we'll set that off to one side to dry thoroughly. Right, I've had a look at the uh, picture and the uh, there's a little chap hanging. I think that's about the right scale. So I've just sketched him up and cut him out of a bit of light ply. So we've got a little chap here. But I'm thinking um, string wise, I've got this, which looks like rope, doesn't it? Scale size. Now I need a bit, I'll have to paint him first, but I need a bit that sticks right up in the top there, sellotape and goes down the middle and then there's a bit each side that goes well around his waist really so I won't be able to string it up I could stick the string on I could drill a little hole couldn't I stick it in CA it in that would be good I'll get four strings glued in there and then it'll have to be painted so then we'll see you back with a painted pilot whom I'm going to call Bob Okay, so there's my four ropes. They're gonna tie around his waist. And we want one going right down from the middle. Not quite sure what the point of that was, but if Leonardo said he wanted it, then that's what it needs. So here's the little man, I've painted him. And if we turn him over, ta-da! <laughs> I was quite pleased with him. So I'm just uh, just trying to get some sort of semblance of how I'm going to do this. I'm thinking if I see a uh, sort of around his waist, two at the front and two at the back. Right, so there it nearly is. So there. There it is. <laughs> there we are. How's that look? And <laughs> actually, that actually does parachute. So there it is, guys, the Da Vinci parachute. Now all I've got to do is work out how to fix it to the aeroplane and then I can drop him and we'll see how well he goes. God, is there no end to that Da Vinci's talent? So there we are then guys, the Da Vinci parachute. Uh, the idea given to me earlier on today by uh, Nick of the Baron Flights YouTube channel. who's currently building a Fokker triplane vintage model company. I'll link to his uh, website down, uh, sorry, YouTube channel down below and you can check him out. And um, 
I'll see you in the next video. Have a look at the join button for the uh, my channel and check out the different levels. You may be surprised. So I just thought I'd finish off the video uh, with the installation on the aeroplane. Just about got it sorted. I just had to play about with the uh, servo, which I'm going to hot glue into place for ease of fitting. But before I could do that, I had to make sure that the uh, servo actually released the parachute. So I'm going to put a servo in here. I'm going to bring it forward a bit. I'm going to put a servo here. There's still room for the battery, but I thought I'd use the width for the fuselage to steady it. And I'll put a little dowel in the back, rubber band over the top. Uh, hang on. Rubber band over the top. And that'll hold Bob in place. And just pop that over there. Like that, so that's reasonably solid, shouldn't go anywhere. Bob can sort of nestle down inside there, like that. Hopefully, it'll stay there. I'll have to experiment to see, but might need two rubber bands. But that goes like that, and then I throw the switch, and boom, rubber band flicks off, and parachute deploys. That's the plan. So he's like in a skydiver position, brilliant. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, drop. <laughs> Actually, I opened up and it will flop open. That's okay. So we're flying along and we decide to drop upwind. Three, two, one. Let's go a bit higher. Drop. <laughs> That's great. Okay, right, I think that's a, a success, so we'll uh, stop the video here and be sure to subscribe to see the result of this one. And uh, if you want to have a look at the memberships down below, hit the join button, just check out the levels. Okay, cheers guys, see you in the next one. Hopefully it'll be this, this uh, parachute job. Cheers. Da Vinci parachute job. <laughs>